Neil Armstrong, first man on the moon, a NASA astronaut and commander of the 1969 U.S. Apollo 11 moon mission. During a landmark TV broadcast, he became the first man to walk on the moon, saying, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. August 5, 1930, August 25, 2012, aged 82. Cause of death, cardiovascular disease. Etta James, singer-songwriter. James Etta was the product of a broken home and found solace in song. First as a member of her church choir and then bitten by the doo-wop bug. As a teenager, she was discovered and championed by band leader and impresario Johnny Otis. Otis suggested the stage name of Etta James and produced her early hit, The Wallflower, with her girl group, The Peaches, January 25, 1938, January 20, 2012, aged 73, cause of death, leukemia. Whitney Houston, singer, one of the most awarded and the best-selling female music artist ever. Houston first came to prominence as a teen model and moved into music full-time after she signed a record contract in 1983. Her debut album, Whitney Houston, was released in 1985, and in 1986 was the no one selling album, Billboard. August 9, 1963, February 11, 2012, aged 48. Cause of death, accidental drowning. Gary Carter, Baseball Hall of Fame catcher. Gary Carter was an American baseball player, primarily recognized for his time as a catcher for the New York Mets and Montreal Expos in Major League Baseball, MLB. His illustrious career in baseball earned him the nickname The Kid for his enthusiasm and love for the game. April 8, 1954, February 16, 2012, aged 57. Cause of death, brain tumor. Davy Jones, singer. Member of the pop rock band, The Monkees, the first manufactured boy band. December 30th, 1945, February 29th, 2012, aged 66. Cause of death, heart attack. Mike Wallace, broadcast. One of the original correspondents for CBS's television news magazine, 60 Minutes. Mike Wallace began as the lead reporter, retiring after 37 years with the program. His broadcast career began in 1939 on the radio, where he hosted quiz programs and was the announcer for several stations in Michigan and Chicago. May 9, 1918, April 7, 2012, age 93, cause of death, natural causes. Dick Clark, radio and TV personality. Best known for hosting American Bandstand from 1957 to 1987. Also hosted the game show Pyramid and Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' Eve, which transmitted Times Square's New Year's Eve celebrations and was well known for his trademark sign-off. For now, Dick Clark, so long, accompanied with a military salute. November 30th, 1929. April 18th, 2012, aged 82. Cause of death, heart attack, Adam Yauch. Rocker. Adam Nathaniel Yauch was an American rapper, bassist, and filmmaker, best known as a founding member of the hip-hop group Beastie Boys. During his high school years, Yauch founded the Beastie Boys. After a brief period at Bard College, the group released their debut album, License to Ill, in 1986, August 5, 1964, May 4, 2012, aged 47, cause of death, cancer. Vidal Sassoon, hairdresser. Vidal Sassoon grew up in poverty in London before going on to become one of the world's first celebrity hairdressers. He is remembered for championing short hair for women in a new easy care style, 
and popular cuts associated with him include the bob, the five-point cut, and the pixie cut worn by the likes of Mary Quant, Grace Coddington, and Mia Farrow. January 17, 1928, May 9, 2012, aged 84, cause of death, leukemia. Donna Summer, singer. Donna Summer was an American singer and songwriter that came to fame in the 1970s during the disco era. She came to be internationally known, which led to her being acclaimed the Queen of Disco. She was initially the lead singer of a psychedelic rock group called Crow, and then spent several years in Munich where she was part of an adaptation of the musical Hair. December 31, 1948, May 17, 2012, eight. Robin Gibb, singer-songwriter, best known as a member of the Bee Gees, which was co-founded with his fraternal twin brother Maurice and older brother Barry. December 22, 1949, May 20, 2012, aged 62. Cause of death, colon and liver cancer. Henry Hill, FBI informant. Between 1955 and 1980, Hill was associated with the Lucchese crime family. He turned FBI informant in 1980, inspiring the Martin Scorsese movie, Goodfellas. June 11, 1943, June 12, 2012, aged 69. Cause of death, heart attack. Rodney King, victim of police violence. Rodney King, an African-American construction worker, was on parole for robbery when after a car chase in Los Angeles, he was stopped and beaten by LA police officers in 1991. The beating was filmed and shown around the world. Four of the police officers were acquitted of assault in a Los Angeles court, sparking the 1992 LA riots in which 53 people were killed. April 2nd, 1965, June 17th, 2012, aged 47. Cause of death, accidental drowning. Nora Ephron, screenwriter and director. Nora Ephron was born in New York City to playwrights and screenwriters Phoebe and Henry Ephron. Desk set, carousel, there's no business like show business, and raised in Beverly Hills, California. May 19, 1941, she on June 26, 2012, aged 71. Cause of death, Pneumonia. Yitzhak Shamir, Prime Minister of Israel. Yitzhak Shamir was an Israeli politician who served as the seventh Prime Minister of Israel in two terms from 1983 to 1984 and from 1986 to 1992. Born in 1915, Shamir moved with his family to British Mandate Palestine in 1922. October 15, 1915, June 30, 2012 aged 96, cause of death, Alzheimer's disease. Ernest Borgnine, actor. Ernest Borgnine was an American actor whose career spanned over six decades in film and television. He gained fame for his role as the good-hearted but gruff Marty Pelletti in Marty, 1955, for which he won the Academy Award for Best Actor. January 24, 1917, July 8, 2012, aged 95, cause of death, renal failure. Sally Ride, first American woman in space, joined NASA in 1978 and became the first American woman in space in 1983. She remains the youngest American astronaut to have traveled to space, having done so at the age of 32. May 26, 1951 Sue, July 23, 2012, aged 61, Cause of death, pancreatic cancer. Phyllis Diller, comedian and actress. Stand-up comedian who created wild persona of herself and worked with Bob Hope. Diller was a 37-year-old mother of six when she began her career in show business. Diller was a trailblazer for female comedians and a strong influence of those who followed, such as Roseanne Barr and Joan Rivers. July 17, 1917. August 20th, 2012, age 95. Cause of death, 
natural causes.